is Stugatz right that nobody's right today? That nobody in sports is right today? What? That everyone's polluted. That everyone's oh, no, Oh, that no one's feeling all right. All yes. Because right. there's plenty of people that were saying Mahomes is pretty great. Yeah. Uh, no, I'm not talking about I Kansas. was correct. I mean, those two teams, wait a minute. Those two teams were basically the same, were they not? No. No. Well, one team won, one, the other one, lost. One team yeah. won. One team yeah. overcame a 10-point deficit at halftime yeah. to, to win with their quarterback with a high ankle sprain and their all-time tight end. What was Travis Kelsey doing, though, with the uh, nobody respected us? They were, like, everyone has them as, he was, had them as one of the favorites. He was favorite. listening to God Bless Football, I guess. It was just like, he's like, for all you, you didn't have us, put our name, like, keep us out your book. I don't okay. know if he wanted Everyone us. had them. It, I mean. it was so weird. I saw that, and I thought he was referencing Fox because the Fox pregame show, yeah, everyone no picked the Eagles, them. no one had the Chiefs. And he was saying, he said, you guys. And I thought he was just talking to, like, the Fox broadcast people. But then I saw everyone on, on Twitter was like, I hate this manufactured adversity, blah, blah, blah. But, like, I will say, not a lot of people were that high on the Chiefs to start the year no. after they got yeah. rid of Tyreek The Bills Hill. were the pick, but yeah. the next pick was the Chiefs. Like, yeah. when, you're, when, it's, when, it's, when you're saying it's consensus, it's either Chiefs or Bills, you're one of the favorites. Like, you can't say uh-huh. we were disrespected. But they, they were an underdog. But I do. Oh, I, there's Super Bowl Monday for you. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. I did think he was talking about the, the broadcast because that picture was going around when yeah. everyone picks the same team and then you know right. the other team's going to win because that's how it works. I could see how that would be misunderstood, though, that he would just be talking to the camera or their crew and saying, you guys picked against us and we thought it was a defiant because I took it the way Chris Cody did. What do you mean people doubted you? <laughs> everyone knows how great you guys are. You're the best quarterback Every, ever. Everyone, everyone <laughs> That's what the when the Georgia dude, the, the Georgia football player, no one believed in us. Now that's <laughs> ridiculous. <laughs> I mean, but this is what how many times have Travis Kelsey and Patrick Mahomes been underdogs? It's one of the few times in their careers that they don't actually have to manufacture the doubt. I mean, it's, there there was doubt at halftime, though. I think the odds flipped like drastically. If you pick the Chiefs at half, you probably made a. Decent I mean, the, amount they of money were da- they, they were down ten, and Mahomes goes into the locker room with the ankle injury. So I like I imagine they were trying to, to to capitalize on the market. But it's never been a better time to be a coach trying to manufacture nobody believes in us because there's always somebody. There's always somebody yeah. who will say a thing. Stugatz there's always there. there's a clip on social media. There. There's a Stugatz out there somewhere that is going to help you coach with you, your you, nobody believes in us narrative. You are so right about this. This is what has happened with everyone having a microphone. <laughs> it is easier for them to make it us against the world because somebody out there on Twitter has said, I, I believe the Chiefs should be an underdog, and that is the greatest indignity that Travis Kelsey has ever heard. <laughs> Because the Eagles are really good too, but you don't you don't believe what I'm saying, which is if those teams played a hundred times, it would be pretty close every time because those teams are really similar. And in the second half, the Chiefs just perfected offense. It couldn't. Can they play a hundred? I'm times? down for that. Yeah, let's see them play a hundred times. Yep, I would love that. But somebody had to lose that game. Is my point. Someone had to lose, Dan. Someone had to win. You're right. It does feel they felt like evenly matched teams. To answer your question, and I feel like if they played ten times, it would be a three point game just about every single time, one way or the other. I'm not saying one team would win every single time, but that was that was the definition of whoever touched the ball last was winning that we, football we game. Didn't the Eagles touch the ball last? Yeah, but, you know, whoever <laughs> touched the ball last within reason, Mike, okay? Within eight reason, seconds left. With a Mahomes reasonable amount of time. Left. No way. Too much time. No way. Yeah. No, 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 no. I think we all went into the game knowing those are two excellent teams, and we all left the game saying those are two excellent teams. Yes. But there, there was a route towards Eagles domination, if not for that Hurts fumble in the first half. Because th- there was that period where the Chiefs do the dumb thing of not going forward on fourth and three, and then they have a three and out in their next drive, and then the Eagles have the ball, and they can very easily take a two-score lead, and instead Jalen Hurts fumbles for a touchdown. The Chiefs' offense was not very good in the first half. If you look at the time of possession numbers, Mahomes' numbers coming out of halftime. Well, wait a minute. It's not It's not the Chiefs weren't very good in the first half. It's that the It's that the Eagles had the ball for a 17-play drive. and The Chiefs had the ball for eight minutes. They, they just I mean. had the ball the entire half. Like, that's not the Chiefs' offense being bad. That's just the Chiefs' offense not being on the field. That's fair. I guess that there, there was the one possession where they went three and out, but like it felt like in that game, that's a high stakes big moment where if you don't move the ball a little bit on an offensive drive, 
that you could potentially find yourself behind very quickly. Well, the three and out was when they didn't call a penalty. Right, on, a on very Smith-Schuster, clear yeah. hold. And now we're all talking about the penalty that they did call. 